It's time for another update on the bald explorer and the lovely Julia who is down there somewhere on her bended knees. Well, we left you this morning showing you how we'd got underway and chugging in the early evening, which we didn't actually chug very far because the weather was quite foul and it was getting dark. And so we decided we would moor up pretty hastily. While we could still see. Exactly. So we did that and overnight, Storms came in, didn't they? Yeah. It was uh, quite horrific. We could hear the rain and the wind whirring past and all these weird noises in this boat. Yeah, it's very strange. We'll tell you more about the boat and why we've got a 52-footer and all that business. 65-footer. 65, yeah, sorry. Um, I think our original one was supposed to be 52 or 49, something like that. Just a little bit of a size difference. Anyway. We were slightly perturbed when we got up this morning because the, the river was flowing much faster, it was higher, and where we had moored, it had turned into a lake. Yeah, the field, the field that we were, you know, we'd got our mooring pins into, it was a lake, and there was ducks swimming on this big, big, big puddle. It was quite scary. So Thankfully, we, we could still see our mooring pins, though. That's good. We took advice from... Fran and Rich from floating our boat. Thank you. And so we thought we'd try and get up onto the Oxford as quickly as possible to avoid the river rising. So we headed for the Enshore Lock, which is the first lock, and then there's the Duke's Cut about a couple of miles on from there. However, as soon as we got here, and before I say that, what about the, um, the steering that Julia did and the currents? Mm. Yeah, that was fun. First time um, on driving a, river. a canal boat on a river. Very, very <laughs> strong currents. And we, it was very hairy, but Julia did amazing, I have to say. Anyway, we got to the lock, and that lock keeper helped us pull in. Very nice guy. But he said, uh-oh. <laughs> he said, it's red cards all <laughs> along the river and, and on the Oxford Canal. Nobody is moving. But yeah, it went from green, green boards, to... Yeah red because it should be green amber red so we're stuck for the moment we don't know for how long could be t tomorrow could be the next day could be the whole week we don't know but like i said if if we only get one day cruising up up on just the uh, is it the duke's cut that one yeah if we only get one day doing that i'm happy but luckily there is the village nearby with seven pubs there is a road we're not too far from the boatyard i can pick up my car we could go into oxford so we will have adventures so keep watching we'll catch you later for another update bye, bye.